Good morning, guys. This is Rosa from Rosa's Resources. I am broadcasting live from the Bronx today. Uh, you have um, the New York Road Runners. They're having um, a marathon today on the Grand Concourse. So um, the runners just are heading north. Uh, and this is all production uh, backstage stuff. Waiting for the runners to come back. They will be finishing strong at 10 mile marathon. Okay, um, I'm here today because I would like to talk about marriage. I wanna just, uh, this has been in my spirit. This has been in my spirit and I just would like to talk about it. Uh, I'm, I'm talking to um, people that are single, that perhaps wanna get married, uh, struggling to find a good partner, people that are divorced, uh, in the middle of divorce. I'm talking to people that want a serious, serious, a serious relationship, a committed relationship. Those are the people I'm talking to this morning. I'm also going to be talking about the people that are out here playing games. Uh, I want to first say um, I've been in a 25 year marriage and I'm not yet divorced. Um, but there's somebody of interest in my life. Okay, again, I'm not yet divorced. Um, and there is no dates, there is no sex before marriage for me. Okay, and again, I am not quite divorced. Okay, guys, here we go. For the single people that are looking for a committed uh, relationship, and you might find someone, I don't know what your criteria are, but whatever your criteria are for a relationship, you need to write it down. The things, the boundaries that you're setting for yourself, the things you will not accept at all, I, I think you should not compromise on that at all. Wait on God. Don't do it on your own uh, understanding. Um, don't rely only solely on your flesh because your flesh is weak, okay? For me, I'm looking for a spiritual man, a man that is not weak to his flesh. Um, a man that actually knows how to kill his flesh, basically, because it will deceive you every time. And um, as Roman 8, 6 says, um, when you lean on your flesh, uh, that's death to your life, your whole entire existence, everything in your life, your finance, um, uh, just your life period going down just because of flesh. Flesh will be, bring destruction to your life. I'm telling you guys, it's not that sex is not beautiful, but for me, sex without commitment is always going to lead to downfall. Um, I tried it over and over again, and just if you live in just like solely in the flesh, it's never ever going to work. Um, if you live in uh, for the spirit, God is going to guide you. He's going to instruct you on who your partner is. It's just not a fairy tale, guys. Okay? Uh, examine your life and see how many relationships you've been into uh, that God was not in, in, in at all. And, and then you can talk to me. For the people looking for a committed relationship and someone comes into your life and the person looks uh, exactly like what you asked God for, but their actions are not um, matching up. So their words are saying one thing, but their action is saying a whole nother thing. Okay, guys? So you need to make sure uh, the words coming out of their mouth lines up with their action. Lines up with their action. Okay? The mouth is, is meant to say anything and is very deceitful. Um, just watch their action and it's going to tell you everything you need to, need to, um, need to see. Stop listening to people's word because it's going to fail you every time. Uh, just stand still again, watch their pattern, and you're going to see with your own entire eye, your spiritual eye and your visual eyes. Okay? Let the Spirit guide you guys. You're not going to go wrong when you let the Spirit guide you. So, a man or a woman might come into your life and tell you everything you're telling them that you want but their action is not going to act up. If you're looking for a spiritual man, first of all, you pray on it. And um, when you see something um, 
in his action that is not matching up with his word, you have a discussion, you know? And you say you say one thing, but your action is a whole nother thing. He's gonna be like, wow. Like, how do you peep that? You know what I'm saying? Why? Because your spirit is talking to you guys. Um, don't, if you, if, you, if you say that you're abstinent and you're not having sex um, um, before marriage, you do not have to let him test the water. The man that is for you, the man or the woman that is for you will just fit like a glove without you trying, without you chasing, without you compromising um, your beliefs, without you knocking down your boundaries, you will not have to do that, okay? That was in my spirit this morning. I just really wanted to talk to people because I know a lot of people are struggling because they want so badly to be in a relationship and uh, don't compromise your soul, your salvation for flesh, something that is temporary and you're gonna suffer for a very, very long time. Do not compromise yourself. Um, you don't have to let them test your waters, ladies. You do not have to let them test your gem. You do not, you're not a, you're not a um, test tummy because what happens most of the time is when you let them test your sample, um, they'll test, 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 test. Men play a lot of games. They'll come, test, test. How you doing? Good morning. Are you here to, are you, are you here to support the marathon? Are yeah. You? Yeah. yeah. Adios, Wapi. Nice. So everybody's out here for the marathon. This is like great ways to meet people and everything, but dating is just to get to know somebody, to see if you're going to weed them out. Or are you going to keep them a little bit? You do not have to date one person because you're not, I'm not saying you're not having sex with anybody. You're just dating. Dating means a period of time when you get to know someone. You want to get to know someone, really, really know someone. Well, I'm going to say really, really know somebody because for me, it's like you're always learning. People change. And that the question to you is, do you really, really know someone? Ladies, if you have children, do not bring a, a new man, and this is for the men too, into your home, especially in the wee hours of the night. If a man respects you, he will not want to come to your house 1 a.m., 3 a.m. He will not. When a man comes to your house that time of night, it's called a booty call. It's called a booty call. Okay, guys? He has no good intention if he's coming to your house in the wee wee hours of the morning. You already know. Use your smart cap. You already know what he wants. So are they coming back now? Are you kidding me? Oh, look like the runners are coming back. Okay, so it's time for me to go back. Oh, they're coming back already? These people can run. That's 10 miles already? Okay, so I am going to go back because these people, these people are coming. Are you kidding me? Oh, that was fast. Oh, man, let me go. I got to go, guys. <laughs>